Hey, this is Kip, and in this video, we're going to learn how to install community mods in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is for PC users only because you can't install community mods on Xbox. A community mod is a mod created by the Flight Sim community. So these mods do not have to go through the approval process that the ones that you see in the actual in-sim marketplace do. So it's more of a Wild West area where you can install whatever you want. So to do so, we just need to find what's called our community folder. First, just go to the options menu at the top of the sim, and then go into general options on the left. From here in the sidebar on the left, choose developers, and then in the middle, turn developer mode to on. As soon as you do that, it'll reveal a small menu bar at the very top of the sim. And here, click on tools, and then virtual file system. This will open a new little floating window, and you wanna click the second option down, packages folders, this will open up and reveal two buttons. The first one says open official folder, and the second one open community folder. The official folder actually holds anything that you install from the in-sim marketplace or content manager. That even includes things like world updates. The community folder is where you can install anything you want from third-party developers, uh, websites like flightsim.to and GitHub. So we're just gonna click on open community folder. And now you should see a Windows Explorer screen come up like this, showing your community folder. The first thing you should do is go to the address bar at the top and click on Packages. Then right-click on the community folder in the middle area here, and then click Pin to Quick Access. This puts it on the left sidebar here in Windows Explorer so we can easily get back to the folder in the future without having to go through all these steps again. Next, if you haven't already, go and download the mods that you want to install. I'm going to go to flightsim.to and download the H-135 helicopter. So once I've downloaded that, I can find it in my downloads folder in Windows. And what's very important is that you go into the zip file itself. Do not drag and drop the zip file into your community folder. I'm going to double click the zip file to open it, and then I'm going to drag and drop the folder within it into my community folder here on the sidebar that we pinned earlier. Once you let go, it should copy the files in. And if you want to be safe, you can go and click on community and just verify that that new folder is in there. So here's the Airbus H-135 folder that I just copied in. Next, all you have to do is close and reopen the sim and the mod will be installed. If you still have dev mode turned on in the sim, you can turn that off by going to the top left, clicking dev mode, and then clicking exit dev mode. Now, something to keep in mind is that whenever there's a big sim update, there is a chance that your mods that you've installed will cause the sim to crash until they've been updated by their developers. So in that case, you will need to go in and temporarily delete the mods until they've been updated. If you want to explore some mods, check out the links in the video description. I've linked to flightsim.to, which is a huge directory of mods that you can download, as well as the working title website, and they make mods for the Garmin systems, as well as an awesome Citation CJ4 mod. As always, leave any questions, comments, or suggestions below, and I'll see you in the next video.